Hello everyone, uh, this is a video that is going to be on The Veil stuff that recently is being done. Uh, mainly because apparently if you interact with this, I interacted with it last week already, but if this is the same one as the one from last week, uh, then you're probably not going to be seeing this, but this should be new. This is new. We're almost done constructing an enclosure around it. Once the field emitters are up, we should at least be safe from its radiation. The fever tech Maya had on the Exodus was a lifesaver. Not only for building the enclosure, but shelters, tools. We'd be dead without it. But it still wasn't fast enough. The last XO in our group succumbed to brain death yesterday. Maya's quarantine the bodies for study she says our next step should be finding a way to draw power from the veil so we're self-sufficient i'm insisting on turbines instead but she doesn't think that's good enough not for as long term as this might be which i guess but i can't shake the feeling like we're making a Despair yet, young friend. The truth may be somewhere between these logs and what you've been told in the past. In my experience, history can be contradictory. Regardless, we won't know until we decrypt more of these logs. So that's that one. I think you can't do the first one again. I think that's it. It's very minor, but it's like you go back here, do the log, and then come back. I am actually going to try and do this again on my Warlock. See if you can get the first week's one again. If not, I will probably have spliced it. This thing looks cool. Photo finish work on it. That's all I care about. It does not. Therefore, short. Oh, and in the Brightest Store, by the way, uh, if you don't already have it. Torch Dance! <laughs> um, which, yes, I'm keeping because it's JoJo's, and I. I've been starting to get into it a little bit. Uh, I've only just st restarted my watch through. But I'm going to quickly load this up on my Warlock to see if I can get the week one dialogue again. If not, uh, there will be a cut right about here with the original dialogue. So, yeah. Basically, I will talk about this because I do want to talk a little bit about the Veil in and of itself. And actually, we loaded in pretty quickly, so I guess I'll just quickly... Don't even need to do a cut. Hopefully, it'll let me do the week one, because I didn't do the... I didn't... Obviously, I did the Quest of Titan, but hopefully, it does the week one version. If not, I'll just mute the game in OBS. But, um... Once we load in, we'll see. Um... Just the question is... Okay, yeah, here we go. Come on. No, it's once per week. Okay, so it's one per week per account. Alright, so I will probably quickly... See if I can find that footage real quick now. And that way it's in the video for later. But I can that way I can reference it as well. So give me a moment, please. Alright, so I'm back. And I obviously found it, and I'm going to give some credit here to Cody the Rat, as you can see right here. Credit to Cody the Rat for capturing this. 
Uh, I basically wanted to play this audio, so I'm not going to edit it in. I'm going to play this audio, um, just because I obviously did record it, but I didn't record all of it, unfortunately. So I'm going to play this audio, and then I want to sort of briefly talk about um, sort of what's going on, in my opinion, with the Veil right now. So just let's play this through, and I can uh, talk about it after the fact in-game. Geoma Essie, research log, The Veil. I don't even know where to start. When we landed on Neptune, there was something waiting for us. An, an alien there structure. It's an electromagnetic anomaly. No mass, but a tangible surface area. It's like a thesis statement to the von neumann wigner hypothesis. It's definitely paracausal, like the Traveler. Maya calls it the Veil. She says she heard the name in a whisper when... when she looked at it. When I asked her who whispered, she said it was... her own voice. I still haven't had time to process that. Everyone on the initial survey team died. The minute they touched the object, they entered a state of... of brain death. All of them. To make it worse, the EM radiation emitting from the veil is causing psychological distress in the exos that came with us. They've all described moments of intense hallucinogenic reverie. Some of them went silent and rigid and just stopped. Maya called it billboarding. Something from the early days of Clovis Bray's Exomind project. She doesn't seem afraid. More surprised. She's convinced this thing, in her own words, she says, it'll be our salvation. Fascinating. This corroborates what Nezarek said, that the Veil survived Sabathun's escapade. This must have been the root of Sabathun's betrayal, stalling the Witness's plan to buy time to counter it. So, she stole the Veil from Nezarek? And killed him in doing so. It explains what happened to the Lunar Pyramid. Why it's dormant. And what about the rest of this? What happened to the Exos? Is... is that what happened to all of them? I have some theories, but it, it's too early. Regardless, it sounds like the Veil had an ill effect on Dr. Sanderesh. We must be cautious. Hopefully the next log we decrypt will shed more light on this enigma. So, yeah. That basically touches on everything, in my opinion, of what this thing is. We know for a fact, this is, a, and I'm taking stuff that is said in-game from this, right? And again, credits Cody the Rat for that footage because I was a dumb and didn't think, and didn't think that when there's a prompt to record the thing... Uh, that said decrypt data to record it because I'm dumb as well as it happened literally right before goes to deep point live so I was a dumb big dumb idiot so I want to talk a little bit about what this thing is and I'm going to talk about what we know about this thing this is the veil here this is what it looks like here in game right now there are obviously screenshots and little clips of it on twitter that show it in a more theatrical sense, as well as there's the little secret thing in the Avalon node that Asher shows us of the side view of this thing. The veil, to me, seems very much like... It, it, it is a darkness item. There is no way that it isn't. Right? Because it has this weird... The thing is, it's weird, right? Because... It, it's a thing that's related to the Traveler, because Ghost even says it feels like the Traveler when you're up top above it um, during the final campaign mission. But, obviously, this thing reveals Strand around us. Like, the whole thing about Strand is that this thing here basically reveals it to us, right? My running theory for what this thing is, is... This is the equivalent of having a nuclear material, like, out in the open. There is a video that I'm going to try and link in the description along with Cody's video for the footage just to give him credit. Um, 
on from Kyle Hill, who is a very cool science guy on YouTube, who talks about essentially a piece of radiation, radiation, uh, radioactive material that was found in a snowstorm that radiated, that was so radioactive that it was melting the snow around it and killed three people, right? So this thing I like to imagine is such, has such strong paracausal energy that it literally rips the fabric between light and dark to shreds to the point where it is revealing strand to us because it is such a strong, potent like energy, right? So it's the equivalent of like atoms breaking together when it comes to like, it, it's like the equivalent of an atom smasher, right? This thing is so strong and because it's such an intense energy, it's literally causing the universe's strands to literally tear and bend. Hence why we found discovered Strand on Neptune, because this thing is so unnaturally powerful, right? Time will tell if that theory is right, but I it just judging by the record we had today, of the fact that they had to contain this thing because the radiation was so intense, immediately makes me think that it is very much like a pseudo-nuclear device. But instead of being nuclear radiation, it is paracausal power that is so intense that it can literally tear the fabric of reality apart. But it, in of itself, is also just a part of it. Like, I don't know how else to describe it, is that it is just a piece of nuclear material that has to be physically contained or else it will just slowly implode on itself almost. The thing that I also like to point out is that this thing is darkness energy, but radiates light. It radiates light. Like, if you look right up in here, that is just a straight up big ball of light. Just tons of light in there. And it, the, the ghost recognized readings from the Traveler, right? But this is a dark, it, it must be a darkness artifact just from the way it reacts to things, right? Like, the fact that it was affecting the Exos makes me lean more towards this being darkness-based than it is light-based, right? So, with that being said, they were saying they were having feelings of, like, I heard, I, we heard the term there, but it's like, I almost want to imagine they're probably just, like, almost in a lucid dream-like state, but then they're dying from it, right? So I'm feeling that it's inducing this sort of feeling of like almost euphoria and like happiness because it's overloading what their exos can handle because of Cla what clarity did to uh, exo uh, basically the fluid that flows through them is vex mind fluid exposed to clarity which is the darkness as well as the quote that Maya said in the first log involving this will lead us to our salvation that screams to me darkness because the witness's first ever line to us is, we are not your enemy. We are, or something along the lines that it ends off, we are your salvation. That to me makes me think this is definitely more of a darkest artifact than it is light. But this is the, if it radiates energy from the Traveler, it must be a dark artifact that contains light energy. Think of it like, the artifact around this ball of light. So like this shell like structure is like a lead container for a radioactive isotope, right? The light inside is pure traveler, like the, the most purest form of light that the traveler has, right? So like that beam of energy that shot out and hit the pyramid that caused the root of nightmares raid. I think this contains a whole bunch of light energy that is so strong it is still trying to can it was able that when the witness made the link to it it literally basically was like taking a key like taking a key to something an old key to a door that's never been opened and just going kerchunk and opening it because it's the fact that this is radiating darkness energy and also being linked to the light that is so confusing right 
So I'm thinking that the outer shell that we see and that these vines grow down is like, or the vines I think are the light, right? Because obviously that is very reminiscent of how the, ro the root root of nightmares and all that. But this outer shell thing, like this big orb, is usually fully closed. But the light energy is so powerful, it tore it open and is doing what we're seeing now with the roots. That, in my opinion, that this thing is essentially a container that holds light energy that has ruptured and is doing this. Because you look at the roots, too, they still have that darkness texture on them. So I have a feeling that it's this is what happens when they mesh together. Right? It's I know it's a not very sound theory, but it's like... This seems like a very, basically the equivalent of a lead box containing a nuclear radioactive isotope that has been torn open and is essentially still containing it, but it's leaking. Like they've essentially take a, taken a pencil to a lead box and shoved a pencil-sized hole into a radioactive box and it's slowly leaking out. Because that's the only thing I can think of. I know I'm not, I'm not a super lore person and I doubt anyone will really see this. But it's just judging from what we've gotten on the veil in the past two weeks, it makes me think that it it makes me think that whatever this really is and how it, whatever it did to the traveler makes me think that it has to be a situation where it is very nuclear physics like nuclear type reactions to opposing energies right that's the only thing i can think of is that it is some form of like nuclear physicist level type thing and i don't understand how and i don't know how to explain it other than that right but that being said the this quest is not as like fulfilling as i thought it would be in terms of what else is going to be coming out um so i won't be doing another one next week but I will probably see if I can... I'll probably see what I can do in general with this. I'll probably... Maybe instead of... What I'll do is I'll start putting this at the end of the weekly story for Season of the Deep. Just for the sake of having that contained as part of the seasonal story. Because this is a seasonal story, but I don't want to have an entire video just be the log. So you'll basically just hear me like, talk about it. Maybe at the beginning before the story or something like that. Um, But that being said... Thank you guys for watching. Credit to Cody the Rat for the original week one footage once again. Um, and, uh, yeah. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video on The Veil, because I love this. I liked Light Vault's campaign. I know it was very eh. I still think that if they had done this quest during Lightfall, I feel like this would answer a lot more questions. I, feel, I hate that we had to wait a season for it. But I still think this quest would probably would have been nicer on Lightfall. But that being said, I still enjoyed the, the story. But that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you want to see me do more sort of just like theorizing and stuff like that, talking about lore, let me know. Um, leave a like if you want to see more videos like this. And uh, subscribe, click the bell, all that stuff. Join the via Discord, Kofi, all that. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time.